Hi boys and girls. Been asked for a video on this one a couple of times, so let's get around to doing it. Now I've shifted some stuff about. 64 split screen van. Van was restored a few years ago. A renowned uh, VW restorer. Not some backstreet boy. The um, thing on the front there, the real toy shop, just a little magnetic thing. Just so you know, it's me doing this and it's not some scamster. Look down the sides of the van, see how straight she is, the reflection, you can see Elvis in there, look, the jukebox, half a caddy. When the van was restored, it was all metal work, it was put into the van, there's no filler other than smoothing out jobs, but everything on the van was done, but it was a few years ago, so it's getting some tiny, tiny little bits around the windows and stuff now, but nothing that would put you off this. Um, I'll chuck you underneath, it belonged to a friend, he had it for years and years and years, this used to pop down to the seafront in it, with his daughter, and yeah, see under here, something you won't normally see, that's a aircon condenser, because this van has air conditioning, so if you're getting the idea under here, that's what it's like, we'll move around it, you see some more, but yeah, that's the best bit when you look down them sides, look, it's awesome. So the van itself, the white walls on the van, aren't white walls, are those cover things. Um, it's got four, four new tyres on it, slightly wider than the originals, which is a bit, a bit more road holding, if you like. And prior to my friend having this van, it was used as a wedding vehicle to transport the bride and the aircon in there really does help, stops the bride looking like Bride of Chucky with the mascara running down her face on a hot day so yeah I've never seen one with aircon in, we'll get to that in a minute it's got a slightly uprated engine so it's a 1641 the barrels in it and pistons doesn't give you massive amounts more, but it just give, helps you keep up with the modern traffic from the old 14, 1490, I think they were, weren't they? So hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing when you're looking around it. Absolutely gorgeous. Stepping into the van, you see the cab's all nice. That's your aircon there. MP shifter, which is an absolute godsend, as well as you've got the little extension on your handbrake as well to stop you busting your fingernails when um, you're putting the handbrake on and off. Church key there, for those who don't know, that lives behind the seat in this little hole just here, look. Can you see that? And that church key we use to get into the engine bay, which we'll do in a minute. Obviously, we've got the uh, stables type doors on here. So again, you can see how nice she looks. That seat um, would be facing sideways, and it can in fact, just a couple of bolts, but we have it sat that way because when you go down to the beach for an ice cream, you can sit in there. I hope you can imagine as well as I can. You sit in there, Look at the sea, have your ice cream, everything's lovely. But soon whip it round the other way. If you prefer it that way, we'll do that for you. It's not a problem. It's a two-minute job. So you'll see in the back there, there's some tyres piled up and some other bits. They are the original tyres, which have plenty of tread on them and stuff, but they're just skinnier, really skinnier. Let's have a look at them. There you go. So that's the like original style tires, really, really, really skinny. In here, in these boxes, we've got the original um, gear shift. Get that out of the box here. Don't want to. Original gear shift. So if you don't like the MP shifter and you like to stir up a pudding bowl, then you can use that one, can't you? And you're going to be pudding bowling away to your heart's content. So that's in there. What else we got? Right, we've got some rock cover gaskets. Don't need. I've just changed the oil and, and the um, filtery thing. 
In here, you've got an electronic dizzy, not fitted, brand new, with the electronic pickup and everything. There's some paint for touch up, and then you go to the pickup and stuff. So you can change it to electronic ignition, but it always starts, so yeah. In here, somewhere, I can't remember where the hell that is. There's an MP car loafing around somewhere. That's not it, but there is one. That's the rocket at uh, the dizzy. So there is an MP carb, which I'll, here we go. Sat down here, unfitted again. Because it's on its original Solex at the minute, and it's not causing any bother. But those upgrades are there, should you feel the need to get upgraded. So, there you go. Little amp in the back, it's got a couple of speakers. Just play your requested wedding music. There's a sort of 90s um, head unit in the front there. In the back there, look, see the jail bars. You've got the three bow rack up there and tower rail bumpers. Oh, all cool stuff. Right, let's have, a, let's have a little squeeze down in here. So this is where your church key comes in. So you get in there, you have a church key, stop everybody else deciding they like your engine bits more than you do. And there you go. It's not the brightest in there. Let's see if I can, there you go, that's better. You can see the engine. Have a look around the engine bay itself. And she's all nice, neat and tidy. Wouldn't they see the fuel tank and what have you? So, yeah, you know what you're looking at. A little bit of paint lifting around the lock and stuff just there, you can see. But, like I say, it's 64 split, guys. It wasn't made yesterday, but it wasn't restored yesterday either. Again, looking down this side, have a look, you can see old Trump's in there. And the reflection looking great. Let's come into the driver's section where again we've got some little trick bits which nothing super exciting. There's your old ancient stereo look. Let's turn that light off because it's doing me head in. There you go, that's better. Um, two speed wipers in this. It's had the conversion. Little fag lighter thing there so you can charge your phone. Yeah, nothing else too exciting. And there's your aircon unit, which we've discussed before. Up in the roof, look, you see all the headline and everything's all looking good. Everything up there is nice. As I say, it's a lovely, lovely van. Never be perfection. I don't think anything like this should be. These seat belts are absolute, well, they've come from breaker's yard, scrap yard, whatever. Not sure what they're out of, but they're there just to give a little bit of peace of mind. I didn't put them in, they were already in there. So there you go, that's the sort of walk around the thing. You can see how nice she is and what sort of a thing you're looking at. So what can we offer you with this van? Well, if you've got a part exchange, get on our website, realtoyshop.com. So there look, with the part exchange form. It's the only way we can do it, fire as a part exchange form, I'll have a look. If it's something I'm after or something I can use, you know, I'll do my best for you. But be aware, no auto trader values, can't do that. We can help with delivery, so I can get this down to you on a trailer. Um, not a problem at all, but obviously there's a cost involved with that. But give us a shout, we can have a talk about it, see what we can do. Finance, we can try and finance it. Sometimes the old finance company can be funny, have a left hand drives and classics and stuff like that, so maybe not, but we can try. That's all we can say, isn't it? We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Right, let's fire her up, shall we? Let's make some noise. So, she's an old Volkswagen. So, we all know the saying, if only everything in life and all that, but she's ancient, so let's see what happens. Straight up. No bother at all. I've still got the church key in my pocket. I'll take you in the engine bay. I have. <clears throat> Hopefully you can hear how quiet that is. Absolutely lovely. Sounds nice, eh? Oh. 
So, that's your van. I don't know if I can give it a little rev. Oh, nearly lost my church key behind the seat there. We don't want to do that. A little rev. Settling down a bit now. So that's it. That's your 64 splitty. A couple of upgrades that make it nicer. If you've got a budding wedding business going on and you want to you know, use it for that or proms or whatever, make yourself a few quid along the way, hey, it's there for you. Or if you just want to drive yourself down to run to the sun in Newquay and just enjoy the thing, it's that as well. Two things in life, two solid investments, I was told. VW camper vans and English shotguns. It's up to you. You make your mind up, but it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. And uh, yeah, I'll have to go and try and do some other videos and uh, I'll leave this one with you. If you like it, get in touch. Don't forget though, if you need to, ask your missus first. Your mum, your brother, whoever you've got to ask, you ask them first before you give us a call. Thanks for watching again, on we go.